Good morning, I'm down here on the banks of the Tualatin River and this whole stretch of the Tualatin is filled with cedars and maples and oak trees that are also filled with wild honeybee nests and this one here I've been filming for going on five years now and you can see this large propolis ring it's a very large entrance in fact I mean anything can get inside here but the honeybee nest continues to, to thrive. You see this uh, rocking back and forth here. It's called washboarding. You'll see it a lot on Langstroth boxes, but what's really going on in the wild is that they're filling in all the cracks with propolis. I've got lots of videos too showing how a bee will come flying in loaded with propolis and her mates will tear off the propolis from her legs and then wander around the entrance, applying the propolis to the cracks, and then just smoothing out and nibbling away at all the rough patches. And so over the years, this will be completely smoothed out, polished by the bees, makes a very hygienic environment, a hygienic entrance for the, for the honeybees. You know, we're now like in the end of August, pretty much, and we've got the fall and the winter coming, I wanted to point out something that for natural beekeepers like myself and others, that's a period when we can go out when the tree canopy is down and go hunting for wild honeybee nests. That's how I found this one years ago. They're much easier to spot when there's no canopy. So when you're out hiking or walking in the woods, look up and you'll see these hollows and there'll be these brown rings just like this here. That's an indication that there's honeybees there, or that there have been there. So if you're out there on a cold day, you might not see the bees flying. But if you find that brown propolis ring at the entrance, come back on a warm day above 50 degrees and you just might see bees flying. So in the spring, they'll know where to put your swarm boxes to catch some healthy, wild honeybees.